Hurricane Florence is still bearing down on the Carolinas. We're now hearing that uh, there are at least five confirmed fatalities. One woman in Wilmington died of a heart attack after uh, downed trees reportedly kept first responders from reaching her. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is in Wilmington tonight with an update. Florence weakening, but the threat still intensifying. This massive storm moving slowly, dumping life-threatening amounts of rain. Oh gosh, it's uh, yeah, it's like a bomb that's gone off here. It's uh, there's a, a lot of water. Hundreds of people rescued from rising floodwaters in New Bern, North Carolina. I've never seen this kind of damage here. Powerful sustained winds and gusts up to 105 miles an hour, damaging businesses, sending this branch into Ben Selby's bedroom. Okay, heart beating them 100 miles an hour, but uh, and the creek is up to the house. So anyway, um, whoo, baby. This tree falling on a home in Wilmington, killing a mother and infant inside. First responders pausing to pray. It's a difficult situation for all of us. Debris whipping through streets. <laughs> I'm okay. The storm prompting tornado watches. If you're in Tarboro right now, you need to take shelter immediately. Along the Outer Banks, storm surge inundating homes and inland. The threat of devastating flash flooding just beginning. There is a high probability this will become a mandatory evacuation order within the next 24 hours. And the danger is still far from over. Tropical storm force conditions are expected to last into tomorrow. And this rain isn't expected to let up until Sunday. Even then, the risk of flooding will continue. And we've now learned President Trump plans to visit some of the impacted communities sometime next week. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Wilmington, North Carolina.